Okay. Oh my God. All right. Well, thank you all for everyone who was with us on YouTube. Thank you. And for the rest of us, stay here and we'll leave YouTube so we can chat. Um, how do I get off of, oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, we are not streaming anymore. It is just us. <sighs> so, wow. I'm not sure how coherent they were. I hope you guys, and it's safe to talk now, <laughs> don't worry. I, I'm not sure if um, you all like got what they were saying, but it's, <sighs> I'm gonna have a hell of a headache in the morning. <laughs> they were very powerful. Uh, hey, Bonita, how are you feeling? Um, they're still connected. Oh, okay. They wanna answer any questions. So I'm feeling a little like loopy. Uh, okay. Well, um, I just want to bring up the fact that they said um, you're the uh, collective. You just, all you have to do is just, you know. Yeah. You realize that your connection is already exists, right? You just have to do it within whatever this global connection is already there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really I've never like thought that. of it that way before. That kind of. Yeah blows my mind a little that yeah um yeah i mean that's the thing uh, we don't need to build a new right. gondola it's already the, the, there it just the infrastructure of, is yes yeah. thank you thank you that was a great message yeah and that we're empowered to breathe life into it rather than receiving the brainwash poison that we've been given. And that, again, once again, they remind us to rejoice that this may seem like a, a travesty, but, you know, if it's that one domino that can, then it's going to change everything. So have faith yeah so i like that i'm a little dubious whenever they say rejoice because yeah <laughs> it's such yeah. a biblical thing <laughs> yeah i one day they said to me rejoice because <laughs> you will always wonder what it was like when the those you call atlanteans fell and their society was destroyed now you are observing it <laughs> And I'm like, no, no, no. The word rejoice is like, they're like, you're so lucky because you have a front row seat to like the destruction of a society. I'm like, you're, you're using the word rejoice in like the wrong. <laughs> kind of like the Jesus um, channeling of uh, embrace whatever your existence, embrace all the bad, all the good, you know, embrace it all. Yeah, because Rejoice. it exists. Because it exists, all these conditions are present. Yeah, and you, just, you have to like embrace it. Maybe embracing is better than rejoicing. Embrace it because it's there. Yeah, for you. Well, they feel you. this is a learning opportunity for anyone alive, and they rejoice over every educational experience. I I know they. They don't feel the same. We have to remind ourselves emotionally. They're not like, we're not like them. We yeah. feel so much more pain of it. Yeah. Now the librarians are saying it's very likely that we will see the total destruction of Putin in the near future. Wow. Yeah. Um, well, so, you reap what you sow, you know? He's, yeah. He's digging. But think about it. If Putin is removed from the global equation mm -hmm. 
everything that how that will affect you know the corrupt politicians in other countries that were counting on him to protect them exactly the he's uh, like the godfather mm -hmm. and and it's there's just no room for godfathers anymore this is the 21st century you know if, if you remember 1984 the book george and there were three three uh geographical area so we set out so each other two of them would join against the one so just think about a sino-russian alliance yeah so i i think there's a lot more at stake and i i don't want to get into politics either but it's it, there's so much more that we're not seeing and and it's just uh larger than what we know um well just the librarians uh, have been very clear that putin is trying to become like Hitler, basically. He wants yeah. to be the global ruler and he wants to commit huge amounts of mass genocide. And they say Putin and China and North Korea are very much in cahoots together. Um, China has been loaning money to countries, developing countries, amounts of money they could never even imagine paying, paying back. Yeah. So there are entire nations that are literally indebted to China. And China wants to support, this is what the librarians are telling me, not, not what the news is telling me. But the librarians are saying China wants to support Russia, Putin, yeah. to take over the world. And North Korea and China plan on being like, there to support it so that those three countries will run the world yeah um and that there are plans for like washington dc to get blown up there are plans in place for that to happen if putin had succeeded with a swift stealing of the ukrainian country then it is very possible that a nuclear bombs would have flown towards Washington, D.C. Quicker, you mean? How, you mean? If they had quickly, mean? like Putin thought within three days, Ukraine would have fallen. Uh -huh. You know, he even had pre-written letters that were printed in all the newspapers saying Ukraine is now returned to the motherland. That came out in the, like, on the third or fourth day of his invasion. So he was planning on a swift, you know, action. And he was not planning on the whole world basically turning against him. But now, like, all the people who are his, uh, his uh, main people, that they have all this mm -hmm. wealth and they have, like, estates all over Europe and all that. Like now countries are seizing these estates and saying, we need to know where the money's coming from. We need to make sure everything's legal. All of their financial accounts are frozen. So all of the people who've been supporting Putin, now they're like, uh, do we want to keep supporting? Yeah. Like the librarians yeah. are, are very yeah. clear that if Putin had succeeded with Ukraine, world domination was the next thing that he was planning. Um, they were trying to destroy all of the uh, the connection lines, uh, the communication lines between Europe and the U.S. And he was going to come after the U.S. This is what the librarians are saying. I feel a little like conspiracy theory nut job in expressing it. This is actually my first time talking about it. They're always talking about it. What about the cyber war? Like, if he can't do it physically, he may attack us because he's he's touched our election before and has, you know, a fixed huge it. number of our politicians are in his employ. You know, and the uh, the hotel that Trump had in D.C. Yeah, that um, he had condos in it and stuff. That was a whole money laundering scheme. Oh, and yeah. All of these countries were f f channeling large amounts of money to him through their having hotel rooms and condos in his DC hotel. As soon as he left president, they were channeling he this money to Putin? 
to Putin and to Trump. It was like a huge money laundering thing. And this this is like in the news. This is not just librarians, although the librarians were like, as soon as he opened it, the librarians were like, yeah, that's how he's going to get all his money. So um, there was a lot of corruption going on with American politicians and with global you know, ambassadors and the like and in that in that Trump hotel in DC. So um, the thing is, since Trump didn't get a second election, and you know, our country is kind of in a little revolution stage, and now Putin's got some problems going on, the January 6th committee is looking at that hotel because that was a part of stuff going on with January 6th stuff. So a number of the politicians who have been on Putin's paycheck, they're gonna get caught up with this. So with Putin taken out, it will be a time for democratic leaders. And that's happening in our country, it's happening in a lot of countries, not just our country. So it's a time when democratic leaders will come together and while they're coming together to resolve this issue, they're gonna say, hey, while we're at it, let's talk about COVID and make sure we can heal the world of COVID. And let's look at global climate change together and let's do this, let's do that. And the human collective becomes then one of goodness and kindness and everyone being there for each other. That is what the librarians are talking about, that we're in a dire time but this is our phoenix rising towards our potential. Okay, so the last of the autocrats have to go. I mean, there's just no room for them. Exactly. They're too obvious. <laughs> exactly. No one likes them, not even Germany. Germany, <laughs> who is like buying stuff from to heat their homes from Russia. They're like, okay, they're sending troops. That's bizarre. Yeah, I, I see. That was... I see what the. Sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead, Nazi. No, no, I, that was it. That was just saying that I'm, I was done. I was going to say I see what the librarians are saying in this swift action, because they've never done that before. Even when Nazi Germany was conducting the Holocaust, the Swiss didn't take sides. Right and now they're taking sides, and it just. It's, it's a wonderful thing. I know this has probably been very tiring for you, Bonita, but it's been a wonderful message to hear. Thank you. It, it Thank you. It bolsters my spirit so much to think of this explanation, uh, this broader perspective on what's going on in Ukraine. Yeah. And the world's reaction. You know, the librarians, whenever like thinking about the whole world is overwhelming, for me, the librarians remind me, think about any time in your life where you were like coasting and not happy, and then things just get worse and worse and worse and worse. And you're like, man, I just wanna kill myself and be done with it. My life is terrible. And then you like get it together and you rise up from it or something horrible happens to you, just absolutely horrible that you couldn't prevent and you had you're like, I don't even want to survive this, but somehow you do. And then later from that, amazing things happen. If you go forward with your life path, amazing things happen. And then you say, that was horrible, but that's what inspired me to be an amazing person, to do an amazing thing, to help a lot of people. So that's what's happening on our planet right now. For each of us to go forward with our lives and helping, like what was it? There were those uh, two women during COVID, they just started doing art projects online, like on YouTube, I think, or TikTok, or just doing like fun if you're stuck at home. Um, bye, Kathy. Thank you for joining us. If you're stuck at home, here's an art project you can do. And they're doing fun art projects. Now they have schools all over the world are, you know, that arts have been cut out. They have these huge grants. Schools all over the world like are using their program to bring art and creativity. 
to students. You know, they, they had just by doing this one little thing, it grew and grew and grew and grew. And they brought this great creative beauty to the world. And they're now helping like millions of people all in the space of like not even two years. So don't feel like whatever I do has to help the world. Go forward with what your heart tells you is helpful and brings joy. And it might grow or it might inspire, inspire others or it might just be one wonderful thing. But as the librarians were saying, every one of these makes a bubble that brings effervescence. As Jesus said, one person can save the world. Yeah. So imagine what all of us together can do. We can save the world. We can. We will. They're speaking from our future. That's why I'm always hopeful, because I know they're there. So it's got to be bright. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. It's be Have cool. a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Love you all.